Okay, so hello design class. Today I'm going to show you how to start your color wheel project. Um, hopefully you've had a chance to see some of the color wheel examples on Schoology. Um, if you haven't, I would recommend that you go take a look at those so you have an idea what it is you're trying to make. Um, uh, the other thing is hopefully you've picked up your supplies. You're supposed to do that on Monday. So make sure you're getting those supplies picked up. With your supplies, you're gonna get a, a piece of paper that looks like this. This is a tag board, so it's a little heavier quality. Um, and, and then the other thing that you will get is a plastic, or not plastic, but a brown paper bag, similar to this. Um, inside of the bags, you're gonna find paint brushes. Um, and then you'll also have these little paint cups, but yours will be filled with paint. Um, you should get all the colors of the rainbow and black and white in there. And if you didn't get those, let me know, because uh, it's essential that you have those. Um, so to start your color wheel, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your, your tag board out. You'll see that there is a um, non-shiny side. We call that matte. And then there's a shiny side. We wanna be on the not shiny side just because the paint will stick better to that. Um, inside of your bags that you got would also be something that looks like this. So this is something that you can draw on. Um, I have examples on different things that you can draw on there as well. Um, and I'll show you those in a second. So what you'll do is you're going to take your, your sheet that you got there and you're going to cut this out. So I did that already. And what you're going to do is you're going to take that and you're going to set that onto your tag board piece here. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you've lined up on the edge here and there. You can see that they are touching. You don't want it to be out like that because if you do that, you won't have room for the other part of your wheel. So you have to bring this all the way down so it touches here and it touches there. And then what you're going to do is trace. Okay, I am also going to just mark where these lines are at. Okay, I'm not going to do anything with those right away, but that's where those lines would be. So I'm going to move to the next side. Again, I'm lining up so that it touches here. And it's not quite to the edge here, but that's okay because I know I touched over here, so we're good. Marking those. Oh, forgot that line on the edge. Oops. All right, so I got two of them, and I'm going to turn it, make it easier for me. Like I've got a little space on this side, but like I said, that's okay because I made sure that I fit over here. I'm gonna mark one more to go. All right, so there we go. This is the start of my color wheel. Now, if I had something that was long enough, I could trace across if I wanted to, but most of us don't have a ruler that's long enough to do that. Um, what you could do is go right to that center point 
So if I go like this, I've got one, two, you can see ideally they would line up and go all the way across and there we go okay so that is how you start your color wheel to get all 12 pie pieces and to make sure that they are pretty much the same size.